Welcome back to Oxenfree. We've just arrived at the Adler Estate. Very first thing I'm going to do is not go down there because I can't go there. <laughs> oh, that must take you to... Uh, we came from up above, right? From Epiphany Fields? Yeah, so that must be the way down to Beacon Beach. Ooh, I can just enter the basement? Well, let's go over here first. I'm sure it's not going to be as simple as just starting up the boat. I mean, at the least, we need keys for the boat or something. Oh, oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not, it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh, well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B was the for- Keys, they- they have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Such a creepy, misty place. I want to listen into the Adler number station. Once again, it's actually marked on this map on the middle left-hand side. 140.1. Just creepy noises. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. Oh, wow, I just realized the, this entire, practically the entire side of the house is all just huge glass windows. Let in an incredible amount of light. It'd be a beautiful view, but also absolutely terrible for privacy. I wonder if there's just massive, massive room-sized curtains to cover them up with. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. It's probably up above in the main house, I would think. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Ew. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Huh. 
Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. I guess we were yelling at each other through... Out, like I was yelling out the house <laughs> to Clarissa because we were pretty far away at that point. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck with uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. Hmm, there's another kind of full-length mirror below us. It's got me a little bit on edge that something might appear in that one, too. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, there's the chest. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this, ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Looks like that's it. Well, there's no way we're just going to go to the boat and then just leave. It, it can't be that simple. Something's going to happen. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not listening to this, all right? I'm not playing along anymore. Oh, just come down and we'll drink to our future. <laughs> come down, okay? Nona, can you... can you hear me? Come on, Jonas! Up and at him! Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with clear eyes. Sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for. Trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted x-rays. 
But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast, man. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use our waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem. Gracious, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could you? You're just an infant. Dashed on the rocks. We had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. I was feeling uh, a vibration there by the TV when I had the radio out. I'm not sure what it meant. Oh, another one of these tape players. Oh, two of them. Oh, three of them, actually. This one below me, too. But the TV was. Yes, it's at the three things that I looked at. Yeah, it's like... It's really interesting. What I was saying before... In other episodes about it, seeming like there's kind of two distinct groups that are speaking to me. Some that are more violent and demonic and with ill intent, and then some that just kind of want to escape. It sounds like they were almost competing for each other when uh, Clarissa, or whatever was not happening, Clarissa, was telling me to like pay attention. These tests are important. These games are important. Obviously, given the fact that these tape players that I need to do to make things better are located at each one of these three things that it wanted me to find, I feel like it's sort of, it's like the the good entities are trying to sort of talk in some small way through through code or, you know, not just not in necessarily an explicit way, just trying to get some sort of a message out to help me or to help me help them or both. Hopefully, this will work as usual. Yep. He should go out on his own. 
What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> So we can go on. <laughs> I always think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all really just happened? Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait. Is it a Fippany? It's, uh... That is adorable! Oh my god. I don't even want to say anything. That's just too adorable. Uh... Epiphany. That makes more sense. So, yeah, uh, what... What, um, they... I guess I'll just call them they. I think it's multiple entities. What they were saying through Clarissa about, um... Was it Anna? Who had died? It was Maggie and Anna, right? And Maggie survived, but Anna ended up dying. And they said that they learned from that, that they went too fast. Now they know to soak us in the waves or something like that. Radio waves, I guess? Um, before inhabiting our bodies. So I'm guessing full possession is their, their aim. And now they know after the experience with Anna and Maggie to go slower. So they're <laughs> softening us up for possession somehow. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just- God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? You can, uh, skip this one, Alex. So that's Margaret and Anna. Okay, I we're think. getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's like... Scary! Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. 
It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant. Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the um call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch <coughs> up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. I'm just... I don't... <laughs> Forget it then, okay? I'm sorry. Let's not dirty the cabinets, I guess. All right, just for anyone wondering, I used to say that a lot until I realized how weird it sounded. Yeah, dirty the cabinets? What does it even mean? I've never heard that. Well, I guess I'm not getting Nona to come with me, though. So, to Catbird Station. Best way would be back up through Epiphany Fields. Alright, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. So I actually decided to go down to Beacon Beach. Because we haven't been here in a long time, and I want to see if there's any any cairns or any notes, and I kind of want to see the the cave didn't cave. Just kind of curious. Oh, I guess there are those three original cairns, right? Can I tune into those again? That fire's still going. Ooh, and his letter. Oh, Maggie says she hopes the notes are found by the correct person. Well, I guess that'll have to be us. To whoever is finding these notes, understand my hope is that by enshrouding this intelligence in such an obtuse manner, its detection will discourage most innocent seekers, thereby allowing it to befall the correct person and not the easily distracted military mind, nor the typically bewildered excursionist. Do not blame the submarine's crew. I don't believe its passengers like Henry Griffin can even understand what has truly happened to them. And you do not have to forgive me for my myriad failures, but please. Remember the name, Anna Shia. Know that she did not deserve her fate. Still doesn't explain why we're just why these letters have suddenly appeared. What is what's that little interaction bubble? I think that was a letter, right? But it's still there for some reason. Huh. I can't even throw a stone anymore. Dang. Oh, we can't jump over the fence anymore, can we? Oh. Huh. Guess we're not going in there again. Whatever happened must have caved in the opening. Okay. Well, back the other way. Whoa. Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I can't let that matter right now. Ren, look, I just know he needs me. I mean, me seeing him in trouble must mean he's, like, actually in trouble, right? Not really. I think it's just an effect of the, uh, possession or something. Like, look, when I went under, I saw, but not really, you on a beach with a battleship. Oh, is that really what you saw when you were possessed? Yeah, and I'm sure when it happened to him, Ren saw his own weird stuff too, so I don't know, but I think he's okay. Let's keep on to the station. We can talk to him from there anyway. 